Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. We're shaking, everybody. I am Pat. How you doing this evening? So, hey, I sprayed us down here. We're using our clearing spray, all right? This is white sage, and it's clearing spray. You can get these at your mystical stores, okay? I do not sell those. So you can just look it up and see where um, in, your, in your area where a mystical store is that sell crystals and sprays and everything like that. That's where, um, you know, you get those from. Okay, so thank you for all of my subscribers as well as my new subscribers. Thank you so very much for liking my channel. Thank you for all the thumbs ups in my videos. I really appreciate you guys. It gives me more motivation to keep going. Okay, so and of course my previous subscribers. Okay, I always got to show you guys some love. I do got some channel energy. I want to send a shout out to Miss Stacy. I want to send some love to Jersey. Jersey, always give me some love, okay? And I still can't pronounce your name, M-U-J-U-A. That was a beautiful butterfly picture. Thank you so very much, okay? And um, I just want you guys to know that you are the best. You are the best, B-E-S-T, the best, okay? And that's the message from Spirit as well, letting you guys know that you are the best. And it's time for you guys to see the best in yourselves, OK, even though somebody else didn't, it's time for you to see the best in yourself. Look in that mirror and say, I'm beautiful. Somebody keep um, sending you guys that song. You're beautiful. You're beautiful is true. And somebody is so in love with you and they just don't know what to do. But they see you as beautiful. OK, and um, I just want to show you guys how to um, address a trigger. You guys um, could be struggling with addressing triggers, okay? And a trigger is like one of the bitches. I mean, one of the um, people told me I was a liar about uh, my readings and what I say. She called me a liar. And then I had another bitch, oh, I mean a person, say that um, my readings are ghetto, all right? And when she said that, she did not even spell ghetto correctly. So before you insult someone... Make sure you know how to spell, bitch. All right? The next one is for the person who called me a liar. <sighs> I checked you out, and I see that you have all of my karmic videos saved. So you must be a karmic, and you must be lying to yourself, bitch. So have a nice life. And that's how you address triggers, okay? On to our regular scheduled programming. Okay. <laughs> I want to give um, Sarah a shout-out. I feel some nervous energy from you guys, okay? But I want to give Sarah a shout out. I feel like it could be some masculine energy that could be really nervous. Um, I feel like it could be some um, law, police. It could be some legal. Um, somebody could be praying. I feel like your masculine feel like he lost his last chance with you. Um, I just feel like there's some trouble headed their way. They could be in some trouble right now. I just feel like somebody nervous. Somebody could have got caught by the police. Somebody could have a suspended license or they plate or something is wrong with the car and they got stopped. All right. Somebody could be smoking some weed in the car and uh, and they getting stopped and they really nervous about that. All right. <laughs> it's some throat chakra energy going on where somebody can't, they choked up about what to say about something. Okay. And somebody is just an all-out liar. Somebody is a big fucking liar. You can't trust anything they say. They don't do anything that they say. They make a bunch of broken-ass promises. And unfortunately, you know that this is masculine energy. Okay? So, um, and I want to give a shout-out to Sarah for her beautiful donation. Okay? You guys are seeing 1212. All right? And um, I got some download energies. All right. It's still stuff going on with babies and children and legal stuff. It's embarrassment going on here. All right. And somebody made a pact with the devil. Somebody just made a pact with the devil. When I woke up, um, it was 555. And I just seen the devil, the horns, the red eyes. Somebody made a pact with the devil. Okay. And I see 111. All right, using your intuition, guys. Three, three, three. You're a catalyst to help somebody. Okay, 
You might have to help heal somebody, but this is also a catalyst in your growth and learning as well. Okay. It's a, um, I see um, Patty LaBelle. I hear Patty LaBelle. Um, if only you knew, all right, um, how much I love you. That song by Patty LaBelle. I love Patty LaBelle, but she sure do a hell of a lot of screaming. Okay. And just like I said, I feel the energy that somebody could be in tears. Somebody is like really crying over you guys. It could be vice versa energy. Okay. It's a lot of nostalgia, reminiscent energy going on here. All right. And the next I got is um, nausea. Somebody could find out that they're pregnant and they could feel nauseated. All right. And they don't know why they're feeling nauseated, but they might um, find out that they're pregnant. And um, I have um, escaping. Somebody could be escaping a bond, a bond, B-O-N-D. All right. It's like it could be this twin flame bond that you guys have. But it also could be a legal court situation, a bond. Somebody just leaving the situation and trying to escape that. Okay? So that's some channel energy that I have for you guys. And then I um, pull some energy about what are the signs of concern for this reading. Okay? So when I pulled out my energies, I got about 10 decks out here we're about to go over. And this is called the Divine Masculine's Truths. Okay, so some truths that you guys need to know what's going on with your masculine. And this is what this video is about. If you don't like it, if I'm a fucking liar, if it's fucking ghetto, click the fuck off. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to click the fuck off. Okay? All right. So the concern here is a Leo. It's just the general energy of the signs that could be in this reading. All right? And I got a Leo. I got a Taurus, okay, I have a Scorpio, and I have a Pisces, all right, towards the end, if I remember, I'm going to give you guys a card on each one of those signs to let you know what's going on, okay, so here's some energies going on from each deck, somebody wants this sacred journey, somebody wants to go through the divine door, okay, the next energy is jealousy, spitefulness, Hatefulness. Masculine energy. They just want to kiss you, divine fam. They really miss you, and they really want to kiss you. Look at this. You guys could be seeing 1010. There's a karmic completion to a cycle. It's over. Divine closed the door. There's a cycle that has ended. And, oh, behind that card right there is new love. All right? This is a commitment. But it seems like there needs to be some type of obedience. Somebody wasn't being obedient. Somebody was in a codependent uh, relationship here. Somebody was unable to take care of themselves. There was a lack of stability here. And now they want to be abundant. So somebody had to cut some things out in order to get to this. Okay? And this is somebody is a loner. Somebody feel depressed. All right? They feel like they just stay to themselves. All right. Somebody just kind of depressed and they they don't even feel like they love themselves. And this is masculine energy here. And this is more energy of down low. All right. Down low, same sex energy. But it just could be, you know, the same sex. It could be vice versa. OK, but there's a lot of triggering that's going on here. All right. Also, the masculine energy is being triggered to look at their life, their choices the people that they involve themselves in, the fake friends, they're getting the message. They're getting the downloads, okay? Because the masculine energy is a keeper of secrets. You guys could be seeing those crows, but look at all those skeleton heads at the bottom. That could be the amount of secrets that your masculine energy has, okay? The amount of secrets, all right? Somebody also could have bad habits. Somebody could be doing drugs heavily, more than normal. Someone could have blocked somebody. Don't want to talk to them. Don't want to hear their bullshit today. They just don't want to hear it. They don't want to fuss with somebody. They don't want to talk to somebody. They just don't want to hear it. Okay? There could have been a breakup. All right? A situation could be over. Somebody could have left a situation. 
This is a masculine energy. As you see, the masculine energy is invisible. So somebody left a relationship. It could be this journey as well. And then just like I said, here's that pregnancy. Somebody could feel like or find out that they're pregnant. Okay? Wow, look at the card after that. Divine said it could be a lie. All right? Somebody putting on a show that they could be pregnant. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to go into the energies, and I'm going to pick up the truths that we need to know from the Divine Masculine. And I'm going to start off with my Twin Flame Oracle here. Okay? All right. Thank you for joining me, y'all. And thank you for the bookings, the likes, all right, the shares. I appreciate you all. Okay? Trying to get those videos out there. i just been doing too much. All right? So those awakening, those um, chakras are awakening. That's that Kalundadadi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, that is those awakening, those ascensions. And the, um, everything is awakening for the masculine energy. I feel like this is mas masculine energy. But also it could be mirror energy with the feminine energy as well. Okay? Just awakening. Recognizing those chakras opening, all right, from somebody being stuck in their ego. Somebody realizing that their ego is a problem in this, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the masculine energy? What are the truths that we need to know for the masculine energy, Holy Spirit? Please give us the truths, all right? So he's back to this is a mystery. So one week he know about it. He know that you're a divine. He know that you're a twin flame. But yet they go back and forth. Oh, I'm not sure. This is a mystery. And they're stuck in an ego about this commitment, about this journey. They do have free will. They can utilize that. Okay? But they're still suffering from inner childhood wounds. They're still suffering from that. All right? Like I said, you guys are mirroring each other. But you know your worth now. And this person know they can't fuck you no more. Mind fuck you anymore. You guys could be seeing 1212. But it's like your worth now is higher. They need to get on your level. Okay? And also, you know, they know they ghosted you again. They dealing with the fact that they have consistently ghosted you. Just being in and out of your life. They thought that you didn't know your worth. And that's why they kept running in and out of your life. Kept playing mind fuckery with you. But you grew. You worked on yourself. All right, you dealt with some of your inner childhood wounds as well. But this behavior is blocking the connection because one of you guys are ahead of the other, okay? It doesn't always have to be the feminine energy. It could be the male energy as well. But I'm going to say it's about 70-30, okay? 70-30, all right? The feminine energy could be at 70%, you know, more elevated than the masculine energy. Now, it could be higher. I could be wrong. Okay? But somebody needs to get some rest. All right? Somebody needs some rest. Somebody needs some sleep so they can get the downloads. All right? Somebody's doing too much. And they're recognizing that this is true love. And this is a truth that he is, um, you know, getting downloads for. Starting to recognize within himself. There's an epiphany coming on. But this masculine energy don't. Feel worthy of you, Divine Femme. The truth is, they want this spiritual journey. They want this true love. It's a lot of signs and synchronicities going on here. 11-11, okay? It's a lot going on here. But it's a lot of challenges as well. Identifying this love. Identifying this journey. Um, recognizing these signs and synchronicities. <clears throat> Those chakra energies. And, you know, knowing and recognizing the passion that they have for their divine fam. Okay? Just recognizing that, that they're with the, um, the passion that they have for you. You know, using their intuition now. It's like a wake-up call here. And, you know, realizing that you are their twin flame. You guys did connect in a past life. All right? So this person could be recognizing that through telepathic communication with you guys. Okay, and you it's like you guys are connecting. You guys are like both recognizing this. Some of you guys, 
you know, are letting your divine masculine know. You guys are communicating this way, sharing this information. They see that you're growing and working on yourself here. Look at that. So you guys are going so you guys can go through this divine door. This is divine university. Uh, tongue tie. Somebody want to communicate. They want to balance this situation out. This is the truth. All right. So they really like identifying themselves, the things that they did, what they really want. All right. This is a lot of soul searching, some awakening. And it is that activation energy because they realize they've been wearing this mask, that they've been fake. All right. It's like divine said. You know, you, it's time to take off this mask. It's time to move forward. It's time to deal with this fear. They're being hunted as well, is what I feel, all right? And the truth is that they have to come from their higher self. They have to face the fear that they have to identify their higher self and come out of their ego. It's like they're coming into a realization about they've been wearing this damn mask. That they've been hiding so much shit. That they don't want to reveal themselves. But yet they get stuck in this dreamy state of you, Divine Femme. They get stuck in that state and always wonder what it would be like to have you in a life on a regular basis. And to have grown with you. So they want to communicate with you. Share some things with you. Have a heart to heart. Get some things off their chest type of energy here. They just thinking about you. And it could be mirror energy, vice versa. Divine film, you miss your person as well. Okay? This person want to travel to you. It's more Paris energy here. But also, you know, just to connect. You know, possibly take you on a trip. This person could be traveling doing soul searching. Maybe you guys are meant to do that together. Okay? Because what? Because you guys are going to have this sacred union. And these are some truths. And divine is working behind the scenes to make this your divine masculine or your divine femme come to a recognition that they have a purpose. They have a mission. They have a journey. All right? And it's time to ascend to that level. Okay? So I'm going to the next deck of divine masculine truths. What do we need to know? That he's a keeper of secrets. You guys know that, right? A keeper of secrets. All right. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? The masculine energy. Yeah, they're going through that awakening. Their heart chakra. Identifying how they feel about you. Their feelings. Their emotions. They could be coming to a point where they're addressing this. And it's through divine guidance. Okay? This is in my deepest emotions right now they feel abandoned this is a truth they feel alone their childhood wounds are opening up and the abandonment that they felt as a child is now stepping back into their lives as an adult all right they could be losing their fake ass friends they fake ass karmics and bitches and shit all right and now now they're starting to feel alone look at that sos some masculines need help they could be in a situation they could be in trouble they feel alone. It could be something criminal out right here. It could be something violent. But they could call you and they could need help. Okay? What is some truths, Holy Spirit? Some truths? They're stuck in dark night of the soul energy. They're hurting themselves. They're stuck in a reckless state of mind right now. They're very toxic to themselves right now, as well as everybody else that they're encountering. They feel alone. All right, look at this darkness. They have an issue with control. They want to be in authority. All right, it's like they're losing their morale. They don't have any rules. They just out there being reckless, doing what they want to do. It is what it is with them. Taking risk. Feeling alone and abandoned, like nobody wants them or whatever. So they're just out there doing whatever the fuck, cause no, feeling like nobody give a fuck. So why should I care? So I'm just going to do me. That type of energy is here. Okay. And this is what? The fucking masculine energy. They feel like this. All right. They could be having flings, one night stands, out exposing their body. The masculine energy is stuck in a helpless, lonely place. And they're crying. 
It's not just about you, Divine Femme. It's about their life. It's about the choices, the people. Spirit is giving them all type of awakenings, all type of tower moments, realizations about their life and their purpose. And all of this is bringing out all of this darkness within them at this time. Look at that. Solitude, crossing deep waters, feeling alone. Like nobody understand them. Nobody want to be around them. Okay, here's this traumas and destruction in their life right now. This is what they're going through. Tower moments, dealing with inner childhood wounds that the spirit is throwing out there for them, making them recognize themselves that they've been shady. All right. It's like people don't want to talk to them anymore. Everybody giving them the silent treatment. This is what they did to other people. And now they're actually getting their karma. Okay, they're having nightmares, dreams, hunted about this behavior. Somebody cannot sleep, nine of source energy. They're just hunted about the things that they did. These are truths of the masculine energy that they're feeling judged. It's a lot of anxiety here. But this is also what they did to you, Divine Femme. And now it's like backtracking onto them, the way that they made you feel. It's all coming back right on them, and they're definitely facing their karma. This person could be hiding and running away from shit, avoiding conflict at all costs. But this is conflict that they created. This is their karma. Everything is coming at them at once. It's a lot of anxiety here. Okay, and this card is here because they're ignored. they ignored you. They ignored their own needs, their own values, their own morals. They ignore everything. They people pleased everybody else but themselves as well as you, Divine Fem. Divine Masculine Truths, there's a lot right now. And look at that, hiding and running from their truths, from shit that they got themselves in. Playing a victim, running, not owning up to their shit, being immature. Playing with people's emotions, their hearts, their feelings. You know? Not recognizing how they make others feel. You guys could be seeing 222. Two, two, okay? And this is running, just like I said, away from their problems. Just not owning up to shit. You know, you created this mess, but you run and let the victims of your mess have to fix this on their own. Who are you, Divine Masculine? And this is the energy that you have put out there. Look at this shit, y'all. The bottom card is a victim. Playing the victim and blaming others. Because now you're in a situation where your hands are tied. Where you're stuck. But this is what you did to other people. This is what you did to other people's life. Okay? Look at this. I feel guilty standing up for myself. So you don't. You run. You just leave shit for what it is, and you make other people feel guilty for standing up for themselves. That's your narcissist energy that you hold on to. That's your ego that you build when you treat people this way, divine masculine. Okay? That's your ego. All right? So let's actually get out the truths deck and find out more truths. Okay? This person know that you are their divine counterpart. This person know that you are their soulmate. They know, but they continue to go back and forth like it's a mystery. All right? And that's, that contemplates they're ghosting you, Divine Femme. Okay? Because they always act like they're confused. They feel like you're a perfectionist. You got your shit together. You're organized. You clean cut. I got my hair done. I got my eyebrows done. I got my uh, eyelashes on. They're not out of place. I'm ready for work. Here's dinner. Just got your shit together. These bills are paid. You know you um, know what you want. You're very organized. You're very detailed. And this person feel like, oh, it's too much. They can't handle this lifestyle. You know, they used to destruction, moving, bitches, drinking, partying, fake ass friends. It's like you guys are on different pages. And you might have to accept that, that this person has not excelled just yet. And they're really, you know, in resistance of excelling to your level. 
as you see in the mirror energy here, you're on a higher level than your masculine energy. Now, this could be vice versa. You know, it could be DM and DF, okay? But they see you as a perfectionist. You might be too good for them. Holy Spirit, what are the truths that the masculine, you know, need to share with the divine fam? What is his truths? What is her truths? Okay? That here's that cry for help. That SOS. That they're in a situation, in a heart space energy right now, that they feel alone. They need that help. It's a lot of emotions here. They need to cut ties to situations. Or they did. Or they're trying to. And this is why the divine saying, you have to reevaluate your lifestyle. You have to reevaluate things, places, people. You have to cut ties in order to go on this journey. This is not a journey for all. It's only selected few. Everybody can't go. You have to cut ties to certain things, people, places that cannot go with you on this journey. All right? Look at that. This is past life karma. Staying stuck in situations, in karmic cycles. All right? This is past life karma. So they did this in the past life as well as the current life. And that's why they're going through these energies. Look at that. Playing with fire. Playing mind fuckery. Even with the spirit. Playing with fire. Just that fire sign energy. Just playing games with people. And now... There could be some energy that comes back and hunt the masculine. You know, they could have really triggered some people here. All right. As well as being triggered themselves. Look at that childhood fears and wounds. Just being abandoned. Somebody being alone. This could have been somebody who um, lived with a grandmother, lived with some aunties, but not with their mom or their parents. And they felt kind of alone. This is somebody who wondered why they wasn't good enough to be with their parents, live with their parents, why their parents didn't want them, love them. But now they want to make amends here with you, Divine Femme. They want to make amends, but they're still struggling with these wounds that's hurting them today as an adult. Okay? And look at that. And they also want to make amends because they chose over you again and again and again. Okay, and it's it's never worked out. It never balanced out. The grass was not greener on the other side. And here's that liar. I told you guys, somebody is a big liar. Somebody even lied to them, gave them a fake ass apology, and they fell for it and went back into the uh, rotten ass grass that could never grow, never amounted to nothing. Even God's nature rain couldn't even grow that shit. It was dead. And they kept trying to recycle that energy. Okay. Any more truths, Holy Spirit? Yes. Somebody could be guarded. All right. Somebody could be guarded here. Somebody could be carrying a weapon again. I feel like they didn't used to carry it as much. But now somebody's guard up. Somebody could be watching their back. Somebody don't feel safe. All right. What are some more truths? Look at that, because somebody's coming to a wake-up call. Somebody's facing karma. This is you, the butterfly in the cup, divine fam. You're growing, but somebody's about to face a wake-up call. Somebody think they shit don't stink. All right? If somebody is about to receive a rude awakening, all right? I don't know if this might take place at a coffee house. But it's some karma that's about to take place. If it hasn't already, because it could be a current karma to the spiritual narcissist who's been tampering with this journey, who's been tampering with you, who's been tampering with the masculine energy. This is that spiritual narcissist here who's been putting spells on everybody. They're about to have this rude awakening, this wake up call. All right. Somebody has hacked, you know, did some hacking, did some cyber bullying here. And just be careful of scams and frauds online. Make sure you keep your PIN numbers to yourself. Don't give out any information online over the phone. Anything with your debit or PIN numbers. It's a lot of thievery going on out here. Okay? Look at this. Somebody has a bipolar disorder. 
One minute, somebody cool. The next minute, they back to their bullshit. All right? This could be a masculine energy, and this is also a karmic energy. That one minute, somebody cool, but then the next minute, they're going back to their bullshit. They throw you guys off your game. You don't even know if you can trust this person. You don't know how to communicate with this person because you're too busy being stable, and you got your shit together. You don't keep catering to this bipolar energy here. You got your shit together. This person is in a low mentality, and this psycho bitch is crazy because you guys got your shit together, and your masculine is interested in you. She's crazy. She acted like she had her shit together, but she didn't. She went crazy after so long. That's the obsessive karmic, and you know she's been around for a while. All right? She pissed off here. She want revenge. There's a masculine or there's a some masculines that have really pissed off their karmics to the end. And these bitches want revenge. They do not like how they feel. These are people who can't handle, you know, rejection. Can't handle being played, lied on, cheated on. And some of these bitches already knew that the masculine had somebody, even if it wasn't you, Divine Femme. But they still went in and now they're mad. Because he played them. He didn't want to leave situations. All right? But he kept making broken promises to people. You know? Look at that. Dangerous karmic. It could be two. I always felt like it could be two. And you see, she have a gun. This is somebody who's going to wait for a minute to make the masculine energy feel like everything has died down. And then she could actually make an attack. She could actually make an attack. This is somebody who could be planning and plotting. All right? This is an energy that somebody feel like they don't have anything to lose. All right? Because this person has really lost it here. And as you see, that knife is bloody. She won't hesitate to use it. All right? She's really gone crazy. All right? And there's the moon energy right there. It could be some lies. Some shit that got exposed, illuminated. Somebody could be thinking about setting something on fire. So just be careful about that energy. Somebody could be at the end of your block watching you. It's really some dangerous, toxic energy here. All right? Look at that. Somebody is highly pissed off, temperamental. As you see, this card look like fire. Because somebody is so pissed off about a situation here. And this is a karmic energy here that the masculine is dealing with. He could have did something to this karmic. You know? This karmic is also jumping to conclusions about stuff. It could be a lot of arguing going on. It could be physical fighting going on here. Accusations. Gossip. Because this person kept holding on to this ex. Kept holding on to this toxic person. And now some drama went down here. A tower moment could have happened. Divine could have intervened. Alright. It was definitely something toxic going on here. And it is a karmic completion. As you've seen. Something has completely ended. But yet somebody still want revenge. Alright. Somebody still want revenge. Because it's still a lot of chaos going on. All right, a lot of chaos going on here in this uh, karmic situation that the masculine is still dealing with. All right, but he feel like with you, he want to level up. But he have created all of this other fakeness, all these other false ass dreams and shit and fake ass promises to other people. Okay, shit that he should not have gotten himself into and he was warned about. Okay, and now he just want to be into you because you be laid back and you mind your business and you have leveled up. You have grown. You have found your worth, your value. You do have morals about yourself. You don't be caught up in all this bullshit. All right. Yes, you was jealous. Yes, you got hurt, but you healed. You ain't try to kill a motherfucker. Okay, now, I know you wanted to. But, you know, we thought about law. We thought about jail. And Divine Film, I don't know if we'll do, you know, that well in prison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I know y'all said, I thought about it, though. 
But, you know, you better than that, okay? But also, they was catfished by this person, all right? They was catfished. This bitch thought, you know, they thought this bitch was the world. They thought this bitch was all about it. She could have been very materialistic here. They thought she was better than you. You know, they thought that they was um, finding someone better than you. They thought they was upgrading over you, Divine Femme. Okay? Only to find out they was hooking up with a cuckoo. And this person was not who they thought she was or he was. They got joked, pranked, catfished. Okay? Any more truths, Holy Spirit? Yes, Divine saying you have been stripped and cleansed of this energy. Just like I said, you here minding your own fucking business. All right? You minding your own business. There's too much bullshit for you, Divine Fam. You don't get caught up like that. You've been stripped and cleansed, and this is your protection. They said angelic protection, okay? Because you don't deal with shady-ass people that you can't trust, but this is what your masculine energy deal with, all right? Somebody catfished him. Now he can't trust this bitch, and he finally figured it out. He exposed himself. He gave this bitch a lot of energy, a lot of information about himself. He exposed himself, okay? Now this person might just expose him. All right, but also your masculine energy catfish people. He could act like he got his shit together. He could act like he this. He could dress nice. He could smell good. He could be clean shaven. But he out here catfishing bitches. All right, and that's the same type of energy he getting back. Bitches who offer him the same fake shit that he offering them. Okay, so the next card is yup acting like a single bachelor. He wasn't single. He had wives. They had baby mamas, commitments, in and out energy. They could be single now, or this is the life that they could possibly want to live now. Just single. Okay? Just single. They had it because they got themselves in a lot of trouble, and they know they got too much going on. And divine have warned them that they can't bring that shit into your life. They can't bring that shit into your life. They've been warned. The door has been shut. That cycle has been closed. For you, as well as the karmic cycle. Okay? Somebody definitely in solitude. Alright? Because they always getting triggered. They know the shit they did would trigger you. They even scared to communicate with you. Scared to talk to you. To tell you how they feel. But they do want to have intimacy with you. I've seen that. Okay? They want to have intimate relationships with you. Yep, they want to fuck. Alright? They know they took risky-ass chances. They rolled the dice. Somebody could be a gambler. They took a lot of chances with you, Divine Fem. And all this stuff that they did, they put a lot of faith in everybody else but the spirit and you, Divine Fem. They trusted everybody else with themselves, their lives, their choices, their decisions, you know, shit they wanted. You know, but now all that shit failed. Tower moment after tower moment, states of depression and solitude. But now they want to come back to you and take a chance with you. It's like hoping that you'll be there for them and heal them. Realizing what you guys really had, who was really there for them when all shit came down to the end while they were stuck in their toxic ass addictions. They was the life for the party. But now they realize the party is over. Game over. Per spirit. Game over. All these toxic addictions. Taking chances on people. Fucking people. Hanging out. Drinking. Partying. Trusting others. Not even working on themselves or building. You know? What I say? Not planning. Just trusting in others to make decisions. You know? The truth is a marriage. All right? They want to plan marriage with you, Divine Femme. All right, this person is still toxic. They could have married somebody and be in a toxic marriage at this time. But they're going through an awakening. Right, they're really getting those downloads. Divine is really working with the masculine energy here. They could be in Divine University, getting a wake-up call about a marriage, about what it takes to have this union with you and possibly want to marry you. Okay, Holy Spirit, there's some more truths that we need to know. Yes, they want to take you out on a date. They want to see you. They want to talk to you about some things. 
They want to hold your hand. Something romantic and candlelight. But right now, they're going through a hardship. They got a lot of weight, you know, on their chest right now. It's a lot of pressure here. It's like they're carrying a lot of weight. They got a heavy load. All right. It's like somebody could be busy till dust till dawn type of energy here. But they have a lot of lust and desire for their divine fam. They think about you all the time. You're in their memory space. Okay. But they know that it's possibly time to walk away. Because they have nothing to offer. They're going through hardship. They at their lowest point right now. They have nothing to offer and they're considering walking away because a lot of the masculine energy felt like you have walked away. But they desire you so strongly. You're their comfort zone. But also, they stayed in a comfort zone too long. They could walk away and just want to stay in their comfort zone of used to nothing. Having that lack mentality. Scared to take a chance on something real, but they'll take a chance on something fake. Okay, they feel abandoned by you, Divine Fam. And this is um, karma because they left you feeling abandoned as well. They took a lot out of you, out of your energy, out of you as a person, an individual. You know, making you feel like you wasn't good enough. You wasn't intelligent enough and put whack ass people and bitches and people over you. Low IQ motherfuckers over you. And now they feel just like you did, alone and abandoned, not worthy. When you were so fucking worthy, you was just with the wrong person. And now you set boundaries, and that's what they're trying to do now. Set boundaries to get ahead in their life. They're trying to change their thought process. Check, come out of that lack mentality, okay? Learn how to be lovable again. Somebody could have a dog. Okay. Just learning how to be lovable again. And it's not always about sexual. Okay. Love is just not offering dick. Love is more than that. Especially if you're mature. Okay. But they see you as abundant and they want to be abundant with you. All right. This is somebody who's ready to surrender. Doing soul searching. All right. Ready to give up. But they feel so vulnerable when it comes to you. Divine film, you expose this person's vulnerability. You expose it. This person is crying over you. I feel this energy is tears and sadness here. Okay? Because they feel overloaded, burdened down with a bunch of shit to do. So many things to do. All right? And they could be dealing with a family situation. It could be a couple of kids here, two kids. They could be in a karmic family situation still. They could be still there because they don't want to leave their kids and live this happy life with you. And they feel like they abandoned their kids. And then that cycle will keep repeating because they ab was abandoned as a child. So it's like a repetitive cycle, um, abandoning their kids. They was abandoned just to, you know... They just stay there stuck just so their kids won't feel that abandonment is what I'm feeling here. All right. Somebody's life is upside down and they learned a lesson and they're learning lessons from this. All right. So it's the energy like the masculine energy don't feel like they could be a dad if they're not living there. And also it could be an energy where a karmic could be threatening them about moving on, making them feel guilty and ashamed that they're trying to live a better life and leave them broke. There are masculine entries that could be the sole supporter. I feel like it's karmics that's not working. Any more truths that we need to know? Yes. There's that intimacy. They want to fuck. But they miss you. And they're thinking about the intimacy that you guys share. All right. So those are some truths from that masculine deck here. All right. Just letting you know some truths here. All right. So the next truths. Let's go here. You know, we got to get to the truths and the secrets, you know. So let's find out what's going on here. What are some more truths that we need to know? And I'm using what's brewing here, Fire Witch Tarot. 
I'm too lazy to put all these decks into the description box. Okay. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can look right in the description box. It tells you everything you need to know. Okay. And the truth is that you've been dealing with a promiscuous masculine. This is not a secret to you guys. You already knew this truth. They're promiscuous. And whoever they've been dealing with is promiscuous as well. And this is their karma. What they put out there is what they got back. Okay? What they put out there is what they got back. Total drama. All right? Through their actions is what I hear. Through their actions. Okay? Their secrets. Look at that shit. Doubling up. Their secrets is that they're whole. They sleep with some of everybody. They're in that dark night of the soul because they're feeling alone and banded. Abandoned. Okay? Alone. Just doing it. Whatever. All right? Somebody could be out there hoeing around. Somebody could be selling coochie. Okay? And here's the police. There's definitely a police situation going on about somebody hoeing around. Somebody could have gotten into a fight about hoeing around. There could have been a disagreement. Somebody could have got busted. All right, but somebody know now and see things diff clearly differently because somebody know that maybe you're born to shine. You know, maybe you're not this whole. Somebody realized that what they've been doing, that they've been um, burning their own shine out, burning themselves out, not even shining. Just out there doing stuff. But Don Naughty recognized that you are a diamond in the rough compared to what they've been dealing with. And they've been dealing with insecurity. They feel insecure like they're not good enough for you. Like you're a diamond and this person is insecure. Okay? They've been kicked to the curb. All right? They feel like you kicked them to the curb. Because they whore around. Because they cheat. Because they can have legal problems. They feel like you kicked them to the curb. All right? Because they make badass choices. This is that your masculine know that you feel this energy from them. Your masculine energy know that you think they ain't shit. Your masculine energy know that he made badass choices. You're going to judge him. You got opinions about him. You feel some kind of way about how he's living. The karmic situation. You're like, wow, you guys had something special. But wow, you didn't even know this whole lifestyle and all this kind of drama that he brought into your life. And he's sitting back and reflecting on his energy. And it's like he know that you know all of this about him now. He knows that you know. Okay. That he is what? Thank you Holy Spirit. Confirmation that he toxic. He know that you know that he make bad choices and deal with toxic ass people. And he bring toxic situations in his life. And he don't um, accept accountability for those. And he run away from those. And he play the victim. This is what you know. And he know you know that. That this is the same shit. A different day. This is old. This expired. You want something better. The same shit. Year after year. Somebody hasn't grown. Has not matured. Stay in a toxic ass state and your masculine energy know that this is the way that you see them. Okay. And it's like you check yourself. You don't even trust this person. A lot of you guys even went to the doctor and had yourself checked because you don't trust this person. You don't trust him and you have to check yourself for even still dealing with this person. Because you're scared of their toxicity that they might bring into your life. All right? And also, because this person is deceitful. You can't trust them. They betray you. They, a snake. Point blank. A fucking snake. You learned about this energy. They deal with snakes. And this type of energy they bring into your life. Betrayal. Deception. You can't trust this person. All right? And they know that this is how you feel about them. You know, this is their truths. All right? That they money hungry. A lot of you guys felt like this person married some bitch for money, hang around bitches with money, use bitches for money. This is how you guys feel. He knows this. And he also know that 
You can take your money hungry ass to another bitch because divine film ain't finna pay for your ass or keep your ass, okay? Or tolerate you taking all they bank that they work so hard for so you can go take care of karmic bitches, all right? You might have stole our energy, motherfucker, but you ain't gonna steal our money, motherfucker, all right? Hey, I was quoting y'all. I was quoting y'all. That was y'all energy. <laughs> okay. Y'all was like, hold up, motherfucker. And this person know that he can't even play y'all because y'all like on y'all guard. It's like y'all using y'all intuition. Divine has let you guys know. Caution. He know he can't even come to you with this bullshit and try to rake you. All right. Y'all know the um y'all know when they y'all done had to sex and all of that. Y'all said it still ain't worth all my money. Okay? Y'all ain't had all that shit. Y'all ain't that bitch, that desperate bitch who finna pay for some dick. Y'all good. Okay? Yeah, but he was hoping that y'all ride it out. He wants you guys to ride it out. And the only how you are, will ride it out is because he's not going to tell you guys all the truths. And that's why you guys listen to the readings. Because this masculine energy will not tell you guys all the truth about what's really been happening behind the scenes. The truths, they won't tell you guys. All right? Now they want to come in after you. They're very guarded after all this bullshit that they did, all this drama they got going on. They want to come in after you, just like I said, but they don't want to tell you all this bullshit. All right? They could be under investigation. Somebody could be stalking them, finding out some shit about them, taking pictures. All right? Look at that. They've been dealing with tantric sex. Somebody could be under investigation for a rape. Somebody could be, um, somebody could have had sex with somebody under 18. All right. And they could have even impregnated this person. But somebody's under investigation for a possible rape, tantric sex. All right. I hear possible rape and under 18 specifically for this card here. Okay. So it could be something happening with this. All right. Holy Spirit. Look at that. Another truth. Under a spiritual warfare attack. Black magic. Another snake bitch. All right. Just all this drama going on. These are the truths that the masculine energy is dealing with. And that he might bring to your you know, situation in your life. Shall he return and not tell you the truths about what's going on here. Not apologize still. Just act like everything's good. This can't happen. Look at that. Still dealing with sexual addictions. Going to the strip club. Still dealing with hoes. You know, still dealing with addictions. Promiscuous energy here on top of the promiscuous card literally being on the fucking table. Okay? So this person is just still stuck in this toxic ass energy. And this is what Divine is saying while y'all chilling and shit. This person doing all this shit during the day, at night, during the week, why they ghosting you? Because they stuck in this dark ass place right now because of their choices. All right. I just had um, where somebody trying to fuck everybody they can because somebody's scared they might go to jail. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. So let's see what else the truth that we need to know. And we're going to finish this video up. Okay. Holy Spirit, what are the truths that we need to know in regards to the masculine energy? Please share with us what else we need to know. Some truths, okay? That's somebody making up lies. Somebody could be trying to set somebody up who is under investigation. All right? But somebody's definitely making up lies. And definitely about that pregnancy, somebody making up a lie. As you see, we didn't get any more information on that because somebody could not be pregnant. All right? Holy Spirit. Look at that low IQ bitches. So you guys checked in, you know, that was my trigger earlier. You guys checked in and this is confirmation that when you guys receive triggers, hater energy, you just have to brush it off and keep on moving. Everybody is not going to like you. Okay. Everybody is not going to like your style, your flavor, who you are, what you say, who gives a fuck. Okay. But guess what? I know that all you guys like me and I'm good with that. Okay, so low IQ people will trigger you, but you just got to brush it off and keep on going. Okay, you brush that shit off and that's how you deal with a trigger. You know, dealing with a trigger, seeing your um divine masculine with another bitch. 
That's just a trigger, but you have to brush it off. You guys been knowing that shit. You might be surprised, but you've been knowing that shit. You just have to brush it off and keep it moving. That's how you deal with a trigger. Don't let it fuck you up. Don't let it fuck you up from where you at as far as your healing and keep moving forward. Okay? Somebody being forceful and a little aggressive. All right? So this is energy that truths from your masculine that this is how he been with you. Just not thinking, just doing dumb shit, stuck in a dumb thinking ass pattern, making badass choices. You know, making badass choices with people who make badass choices. Low IQ level energy. Okay? And this is, you know, being aggressive. Trying to be aggressive with you. Trying to be forceful with you. Trying to be forceful with other people. Dumb bitches. <laughs> okay? And now, like I said, reflecting on that behavior. Reflecting on how they treated you. You're reflecting as well. This is mirrored energy. Okay? Reflecting on all of this. This journey, this relationship. But they're also doing reflecting on their choices. Bitches, they would. Bitches, they chose over you. Why they just couldn't choose my divine film and I would be happy. You know? But they chose to try and replace you. To deal with copycat bitches. Look at that. Somebody could be going to jail. Somebody could be in trouble. Somebody is in jail. And divine saying, now you got time to reflect, motherfucker. On how you treated my divine film. Somebody could be in jail reflecting. This is, you know, their karma. They put themselves in a situation that they literally tried to run from because they kept making you dirty ass offers. But somebody made them one that got their ass locked up. They accepted it. All right. They put their hands in a dirty ass situation. It could be in regards to love. Just making offers and shit. But this offer got their ass locked up. All right, somebody always partying and hanging out, taking selfies, drinking, just meeting bitches and hustling bitches, hustling bitches, getting what they want. His truth says he make dirty offers, hustle bitches, play bitches. Look at this shit. The next card, y'all, is a fake ass smile. Put fake ass smiles on people, smiling in their face and stabbing them in the back later. Backstabbers. Okay, I hear that song. <laughs> the next card. Look at that shit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Confirmation to what I just said. You know, a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is what the fuck they are. This is a truth. Okay? A truth. They hang around fake ass people. Just like I said, fake ass smiles. Everybody wearing a mask, lying about each other, even their fucking names. Okay? Just lying about everything, their status. Look at this. Somebody lost their last chance with you. I told you guys somebody was worried about that shit. Somebody know they lost their last chance with you because they could be in fucking jail. Because they knew they was a liar. Because they knew they was a fucking scammer. Look at this. More trigger energy. All this hopping out. They triggered. Somebody ignored you. They catered to the wrong motherfuckers. And now they got a lot of time to reflect, Holy Spirit, on how the fuck they treated you. Because they was what? A fucking wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm, mm, mm. All right. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Now they got time to sit back and, and, and reflect. Okay? Because they hooked up with a wolf in sheep's clothing. Just like they played you, Divine Femme. That's what they got back here. A crazy, obsessive, karmic person. Who did them the same fucking way that they did you. Okay? Catfish they ass too. Okay? And that's what they did to a karmic. They could have lived with this bitch. Now they moving. Because they trying to get away from this obsessive person. This person could be cyber bullying them. Posting things. Threatening to post things about them. Things that they opened up and shared with this karmic energy. But couldn't share with you divine fam. Okay? Look at that. Definitely threatening. Obsessive. This is like, somebody feel like they ain't got nothing to lose. This is really turning scary and toxic, okay? But somebody feel like they don't have a damn thing to lose here. Somebody will risk it all and kill your motherfucking ass. This is what I'm seeing here. Somebody was want to risk it all. And then on top of that, we got this card right here. Look at this, obsessive lover, karmic. Don't she got a gun? Look at that gun. Look at this one. Don't this bitch got a gun? 
okay? Somebody is trying to, you know, they feel like, hey, if I can't have you, nobody else can. This is somebody who could have threatened your masculine's life, okay? Fishing for comments, always dressing sexy, always got something to say. Negative energy, toxic energy here. Another fucking gun, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a karmic that's planning on killing this masculine. I swear. These are too many guns here. Three guns because somebody was wearing a mask here. Somebody was lying about some shit. All right? It's a threat going on here. Something major is happening. And I feel like, look at this card. Look what just jumped out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at this shit. Somebody dodging bullets, running away. Somebody is threatening somebody's life. Somebody is trying to kill a motherfucker. Somebody hiding and running. They in solitude. Somebody packing their shit and trying to run. Somebody is threatening their life. That's why I feel some escape going on here. Some escape energy. Like somebody is trying to run. They're definitely cock blocking. Making sure that this person don't be with anybody else. They could be aggressively stalking this person. All right. Look at that. Looking you up to see if this person trying to contact with you. Or see if this person been with you. Don't be shocked if you get a call from a karmic talking shit or trying to ask you about the masculine energy. Okay? Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know? Some truths, please let us know. All right? Some truth says this shit going to trigger you. This shit is triggering the masculine energy right now. He's ashamed. He embarrassed that he let somebody get control of him like this because he was hooked on some fucking pussy. All right? Hooked on fucking somebody because he hooked on, was fucking this bitch dealing with his addiction. And now this bitch is all crazy. He could have promised her shit, but they wasn't doing shit but fucking. Nothing. Because of his addiction is what got a crazy psycho bitch after him. Being hooked on some pussy. Okay? Look at this. Did I tell you guys somebody having nightmares and can't sleep? They're fucking hunted here. They hunted about their behavior. How they did you about everything. But you what? You are fucking unfazed. All right? You are unfazed. And that's how you're living right now, divine fam. All right? That's how you're living right now. So these are some truths that I have for you guys. All right? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. All right, I have to get into the karmic energy at this time. So enjoy your night. I'll talk to you real soon. All righty, bye-bye.